Hello, my name is Mark Vicente. Today I'll be showing you how to make Pad Siu. Pad Siu is a dish from Thailand that consists of rice noodles, stir fried with meat, vegetables, and soy sauce. My family really likes eating at Thai restaurants, and once my brother introduced me to it, I got hooked on its taste and it became an instant favorite of mine. I thought it would be really insightful to learn how to make it myself. So without further ado, let's get right into it. This recipe can accommodate up to four people. Take note that you can use any brand of these ingredients or utensils. The ingredients we will be using to make pad you in this video include two eggs, four teaspoons of light soy sauce, four teaspoons of dark soy sauce, four teaspoons of oyster sauce, four teaspoons of sugar, some vegetable oil, four tablespoons of rice vinegar. You can also substitute this for white vinegar. Four tablespoons of water for the sauce. Two cloves of garlic. About four cups of broccoli florets. You can also use Chinese broccoli if you have it. About four cups of frozen beef. You can also substitute this with other meat or tofu as a vegetarian alternative. And about eight ounces of flat rice noodles. To make pad siu, you will also need to use the following utensils. A whisk, a spatula, and or a fork. One for mixing the ingredients and the other one to beat eggs. Some extra bowls and cups. Two chopping boards, one for the meat and one for the vegetables. One knife and the wok for stir-frying everything. And some extra pots and pans just in case. Tongs. Now that you know what materials you need, let's put it all together. Before even touching any part of the food, it's important to wash your hands first. This is so you don't contaminate the food with any of your germs. You can also wear rubber gloves too. The first real thing to do is get your ingredients ready to stir fry. Start by slicing everything, including your beef, your broccoli, and even by slicing your garlic. The next step we take is to boil the noodles. Start by boiling some water in an extra pot on a high heat, and then add the noodles so that they start to loosen up and become stringy. Stir the noodles to ensure all strands are cooked. While waiting for the noodles to cook, mix your soy sauces, your sugar, your oyster sauce, and those tablespoons of water all together in a bowl with your spatula. And in a separate bowl from that, crack your two eggs and beat them with a whisk or a fork for about two minutes. This will come into play much later in the recipe. Once your noodles are done boiling, drain out the water with a strainer and let it cool for a while. Now, this next couple of steps are a bit tricky for me to explain because we actually pre-cooked the meat separately from the rest of the dish. We actually slow cooked it so that we can really give it that flavor. But if you want to stir fry your pad to you in one fell swoop, be my guest. Now that that's out of the way, while the noodles are cooling down, start by lubricating your extra pan evenly with a slight bit of vegetable oil and then start sauteing your garlic until it becomes slightly golden at a medium-high heat. After that, you add the beef, but remember that you don't need to cook it as intensely, because we're going to cook it with the rest of the dish much later. Next, be sure you remember the following technique carefully, because I will refer to it throughout the rest of the video as a scooping technique. To ensure cooking all parts of the beef, scoop most of it around the right side of the pan, then scoop it towards the left, and finally divide it into two halves in the center of the pan, and repeat this for a while until your meat starts to feel a bit more tender. 
continuing back on track with the rest of the dish now. Evenly coat a bit of vegetable oil into your wok, and then start stir-frying your beef and your broccoli together at a medium to medium-high heat. Do this with that scooping technique for about 6 minutes. And since we're slow cooking it, you can also use a cover to simmer the beef and really bring out that flavor. If you stir fry this recipe, take note that you'll be cooking this much faster and at a higher heat. Now add your noodles into the mix, using the scooping technique to really cook all sides of the mixture. And do this while gradually adding the sauce so that it's evenly distributed throughout the recipe for about 6 minutes. If you're stir frying this, it'll obviously be much faster. Once your noodles start to look a little bit more golden, you can start setting part of that mixture off to the side and add the beaten egg mixture into the wok. Use the scooping technique to evenly spread the egg throughout the dish. Alright, all that's really left now is to transfer a bit of those noodles, or all of it if you're me, into a new plate. And you're done! Yay! Now there's one extra step for you, those of you who like to make things a little... HOT! You can garnish a little bit of chili powder at the top of your dish to really give it an extra kick of flavor. This tutorial was of some help to you in making a tasty dish. I might not cook on a day-to-day -day basis, but if you'd like to see more of my art or other content made by yours truly, you can check out my Twitter and my Instagram at MarksterArt. There will be links in the description below. This has been Mark Vicente, and I hope to see you soon!